hello there. Well, so Julia Gillard made her big tweet the other day. And she said about female genital mutilation, she said, the horrific practice of FGM has no place in any religion or culture, and the government will work to stamp it out here. That's what she tweeted. And that's what she said. So, she also, some weeks back, a couple of months back, she had a, a big recent speech against sexism and misogyny, which was praised all, again, all around the world, wasn't it? She spoke against sexism and she spoke against misogyny. She didn't, however, speak of another form of sexism called misandry, which is the hatred of men and boys. So, it's clear that by her statement, the horrific practice of FGM has no place in any religion or culture, and the government will work to stamp it out here, means that she is not culturally sensitive at all. She's not going to show any cultural sensitivity at all when it comes to female genital mutilation because of religion or culture. She won't be extending any cultural sensitivity to Islamic women or African women who believe in female genital mutilation. Now, if we translate what Julia Gillard said, if she's not Julia, if she really hates sexism and misogyny, and if she really hates sexism and she's uh, not a liar, well, she would hate, she would despise misandry as well, which is hatred of men and boys. Hatred of men and boys, as I just said, is a type of sexism. Now, if we just, if we're going to be non-sexist, we can extrapolate from her statement, we can presume if she means what she says about sexism, about disliking sexism, then this can read, the horrific practice of male genital mutilation, MGM, has no place in any religion or culture and the government will work to stamp it out here. That is, we can expect, we can extrapolate from Julia Gillard's tweet that she will also work to stamp out male genital mutilation and she won't be culturally sensitive, she won't express any culturally sensitivity about it. No cultural sensitivity arguments will be, uh, will be tolerated because we're going to stamp it out here. So, if we're going to be culturally we're not going to show cultural sensitivity when we're stamping out uh, MGM or FGM. That means uh, it means Australian Aboriginal tribes who practice uh, male genital mutilation, or they might like to call it male genital cutting or circumcision, or whatever. We won't be showing them any, any cultural sensitivity or, or, or any religious or cultural sensitivity. We won't because has no place in any religion or culture and it will be stamped out. That will also go for Jews in Australia, it will also go for Islamics in Australia, and it will also go just for the medical tradition that, uh, that snipped me, that is uh, the cosmetic culture of um, male genital mutilation. It won't be tolerated. The horrific practice of male genital mutilation has no place in any religion or culture and the government will work to stamp it out here. We can presume from what Julia Gillard tweeted and from what she said in Parliament against sexism that she will be taking steps to get rid of male genital mutilation in Australia and hopefully soon she'll be bankrolling that too as she has bankrolled female genital mutilation. See you for now.